name is Mkota Aziz. I'm the manager testing department of Ghana National Bureau of Standards. And uh, where we are right now uh, is the Food Safety Laboratory, uh, Umbali region. So it's for Eastern Uganda. So basically the Food Safety Lab, we have both the Chemistry Laboratory and Microbiology Laboratory. So where the chemical tests and microbiological tests of various food and animal food products will be examined uh, to ascertain whether they meet the national or international requirements. So in this particular lab where I'm standing, it's uh, the chemistry laboratory, which will be doing a lot of analysis of different uh, milled cereal products, uh, grains, uh, dairy products, uh, including this UHT milk, uh, the yogurts, uh, any flavored milk, even the raw milk, by the way, uh, for quality evaluation. And then uh, we shall also be testing the various grains and milk cereal products for the aflatoxin. And then we shall also be testing the beef and beef products for the veterinary drug residues and uh, also the pesticide residues. We shall also be in position to test for fruits and vegetables for pesticide residues. Uh, you see when farmers uh, uh, in the gardens, they may decide to spray uh, their plants and then at the same time bring them to the market. So our role, we test those residues to see if really they, they follow the good agricultural practices and the withdrawal period for those who are like injecting animals to see if there are no veterinary drug residues uh, in the milk, in the eggs and any other poultry products. And uh, any other products we should be testing, they include the beverages, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. So like uh, the energy drinks, we shall be testing for those some part, part of the stimulants which are in the energy drinks, uh, also the quality and safety parameters. So I want to uh, invite uh, all of you to make sure that you take advantage of this facility. We have done this because we acknowledge the challenge we have been going through where all of you were traveling long distances to Kampala, uh, UNBS Central Laboratories, which was increasing the cost of doing business, especially to the micro small enterprises. So we have come with a solution of making sure that you can now initiate your certification process to acquire UNBS quality mark within your locality. So you will be able to have your quality mark granted to you from Bali regional offices for the entire eastern region from Karamoja to Teso to Kapchora uh, uh, to name but a few. So this facility is now here. There is no single product we are not going to be able to analyze and provide quality assurance. Therefore, we believe that um, your cries of uh, uh, long distances of accessing UNBS uh, services, uh, the issue of costs of uh, testing and certification are being addressed. This is a lactose scan uh, used for testing milk, uh, rapid testing of milk, uh, the pH, the fat in milk, the added water in the milk, uh, the density, and uh, uh, some other sugars in the milk. And then uh, oh, these ones are ovens and furnaces. They are used for testing the moisture content, the ash content in the milk flours and any other product. Then you also have a fiber. This is a fiber tech machine for determination of crude fiber in the different food items. And uh, we have also a protein analyzer. It's an automated equipment. We have do the digestion and then we could do quick analysis of the total nitrogen and we convert it to the protein content. And then other equipment, these are sample preparation equipment. These are water baths, and uh, this is a, a shaker, vortex shaker, uh, which is used for sample preparation uh, before we take the samples for analysis, either for pesticide residues or for veterinary drug residues. We do the preparation and extract the analytes of interest. And here is a pH meter, uh, which we use for determining the acidity or the alkalinity of the product to see whether the product is not corrosive or not, it doesn't burn you. These are water baths which are operated at different temperatures depending on which kind of microorganism. And uh, similarly, this. Uh, so, after doing the preparation here, uh, the, the samples are taken for intubation. Uh, these are automated systems uh, for reading uh, the different colons, uh, which give us the estimate of the different microorganisms which could be in the food product. So, they are automated in that uh, you get results in a faster period. Uh, they are different from the conversion method where we do the manual counting of the different columns, but now we do the autumn. So we have what we call about the management information system, whereby after submitting the sample, after the submitting the sample, you can, uh, you can trace 
uh, the status of your result in terms of analysis, which percent, because it, when, whenever they are doing analysis and they are updating the system, it will be showing progress. It will be initially at 0%, it will be going 10% when they, they put in the first result, 30, 50, up to 100%. So immediately it is 100%, you will automatically get your result. You don't need to come back here. So this is the second laboratory we have opened. Uh, uh, the first one was for the northern region, which we commissioned in July to take care of the greater north. Uh, we are now, after Mbale, going to uh, open one in Barara to take care of the western region. That, so that's why we have now moved uh, out of Kampala to be able to reach uh, the various parts of the country. And we are grateful to the Danish government uh, through trademark uh, uh, East Africa for buying in this initiative of decentralizing testing and laboratory services to the countryside, to the regional offices, to be able to support production by micro small enterprises where youth, women uh, are engaged in production so that we give opportunity to everybody to get to the market with a quality product. So uh, the Danish, um, uh, Danish government through Trademark East Africa has given us equipment to support this decentralization activity and fitting our vision of taking services nearer to the people.